in this video we are going to make this effect where if I scroll down you can see it creates a zoom in effect with multiple images that just pop up you can add any container in here or video in your icon in here anything that you want for this video I'm just using image but again it's very easy to just change it to anything else you could even do mix of stuff one more thing that this is actually a paid template that I'm making you could see this has like this one menu it goes down this one kind of moves based on how you scroll if you go down this is the effect i've already created a video on how to make this uh, this is this video what we are going to make today if you go down i've already created a video on how to make this how to make this uh, both of these are same just different designs i've already created a video on how to make this and this is also the same video as above you just need to change like one single value and it turns to bottom to up i will be making a video on this one which is an accordion and then this i've already created a video on how to create like the sticky sections and yeah this would be a template I, i'm going to add a footer below so make sure that when it is ready i will add a link in description whenever this template would be ready and it would be for five dollars and all the sections already have tutorial on how to make it so yeah let's get started so first thing just create a container which would be i'll make full width and 100 vh so that's full screen I'll call this as zoom wrapper instead of this we are simply going to add a heading and I'm just going to make it be in center like this and then I'm going to add a text editor rest of it is just styling so I'm just going to copy paste it from here because it's just changing the styles which are provided by Elementor so you could see what I've simply done is used a heading and then you know just change the styling to my liking it's it's completely your choice what you do in here next is we, you don't need to have any color in here if you add any color it would not work there is a way to add a color but you do not use this wrapper to add the background color or image so keep watching first of all let's add an image and i'm just going to uh, select any image and i'm going to select this image go into style and make it 100 percent go into advance go into custom and this one would be style or oh, sorry size and this is completely dependent on you like what size you use percentage or anything that is completely dependent on you i'm just going to keep it like very basic now we will go into advanced go into position absolute and make sure to use percentage percentage and make sure to use left and top okay do not switch to right and bottom because the code would not work for right and uh, bottom just left and top if you want to place it on the right just make it go like 79 percent like this and it would be there now this size it's even though we have set it to 20 percent it would be actually lots smaller because we will turn it into a 3d perspective now i'm in blender you don't need to do this i'm just showing what we are doing so if i look from a camera which is 3d camera and if i move this back you could see that uh, the size changes so because it is further than the camera so anything that is further than the camera would be smaller and as it comes closer it would be bigger and that is basically what we are simulating in this video so for example if this was around here it will go like this and then make it look like it's actually being you know like zooming in so here's what i'm going to do again right now this values doesn't matter we will play around with it again i'm just going to add one more so i just added like one more image and i'll just make it place like somewhere around here like this now this css classes would be in description so you know copy this tm zoom wrapper and then we will give it to a zoom wrapper container all of this would be available in my website below and then anything that is dm zoom we will image to we will give as we will give it to the images like image if you have any other container which would be let's say a video or just a container like example you added a container and gave it like position absolute and all make sure to give it the same css class it doesn't matter it says img in here but it doesn't matter just give it the same css class in a zoom wrapper at the end i'm going to add my html widget like this now i'm simply going to copy this code go into my html widget and paste it and suddenly you could see it is working so let's do update and see if it works nicely or not also make sure to go into zoom wrapper and make sure overflow is set to hidden 
else it would create like weird left and right uh you know what do you call that like scrolling like the scroll bar would appear here and it's not going to give like light nice experience especially in mobile you would be able to do left and right if you scroll down you could see it is now popping up and then going up like this <laughs> but we are not done yet for example uh let me go in here and remove this script okay so this script basically does the animation i'm going to remove it uh make the opacity which is around here which is dm zoom reveal image what i've simply done is that at start it is like zero opacity which means it's transparent and i've also added like a filter which makes it blur at the start and then slowly makes it you know visible i'm going to make this one and make the blur to be zero this would basically remove all that effect and there's a reason why i'm doing that so wait for it i'm going to click up publish once published just refresh it so that the code stops working so you could see what's actually happening so right now when i remove the animation of animation uh, the script which was javascript which controlled the animation with gsap we simply get the css code and in here uh, i'm sorry I, i forgot to make the cursor bigger and zoom here but again i think it would be good enough because it's not much complicated but i've basically made it into 3d like this whole wrapper and here is what's happening so remember when i showed you in the blender or in the 3d software where when we move it behind you could see that if i make it 200 it's now closer if i make it minus 100 it's closer zero is right here if i did to 500 then it is 500 behind that area like that's how far it is from us if we do 1000 that image is how far it is from us in 3d space so for me i did 300 because it worked and then this is where it starts then obviously we made this to be opacity zero so that it is hidden by default and then here's the blur effect so if you don't want blur you could remove this but again i made it 20 and then uh, just ignore this for now now if you go into your image and then if you play around with it you can see that where it starts but again doesn't matter where it starts just matters where it ends because again nobody is going to like watch much like where is it starting and all and again like i said that now even though it is 20% it's not actually 20% because it is 20% of the size but it is further than us and anything further than us looks uh, smaller now here's one more thing like dm zoom reveal pg now the problem is if i give this zoom wrapper let's say a color i don't know why is it working right now but before it wasn't working when i gave it some color like this uh, basically this image got hidden because this container uh, was like at the zeroth position so it was at you know zero like transform translate 3d zero so this image were obviously behind it not sure why is it working right now when i tried to do that before it wasn't working so just keep in mind that even if, if just test it out if it works like adding image or not maybe adding the second code might uh, mess it up let's try that you know that it kind of confused me right now because suddenly it's working which shouldn't been like this image should not be visible right now i don't know how is it working and it's looking correct right now when i tried it before it wasn't working and i was confused but again when i decided to record it is looking very normal when i add an image so try it with yourself but let me just try in the view page and see if that does any difference or not it is still working which is very weird right now i'm so confused just just bear with me just wait for a second and let me test some things let's make this like 0 and let's make this like 20 maybe let's add an image and see if that does any difference i'm going to do v page just to see if it works perfectly if i add an image i don't know how why is it working but when i tried it before it wasn't working and that was very annoying <laughs> but now it is working i don't know why so i still want to show you like a way where you, if let's say adding let's say the adding uh you know the color or image messes it up by because you know there's a this zoom wrapper is a plane like it's at zeroth location and then we are making the image be behind this one so if i add a color it should actually be behind all this container and it wasn't working before like this so which is why i came with like a weird solution I'm just going to show the solution in case it gives an error to you guys like uh, if if like just adding the color or image does not work for you guys. So what I did was I went into zoom wrapper 
and I added another container at the top and I call this as I guess BG make this full width make it 100 VH make it position absolute so that it takes no space and now we give color to this one like this let's say if we gave color to this one obviously it's not going to work let me show you why so if I go down okay never mind it's still working I'm so confused right now uh, because previously the images just popped up instead of like uh, getting like visible like this when you add a color and all it's popped up I don't know why is it suddenly working when I did this video <laughs> so what we, what I simply did was this BG uh, I added it in 3d space so if you give this let's say DM zoom BG reveal to like this this BG will basically be behind this and let me make this scale one like this so you could see that this image is actually in 3d space behind everything so as my images are minus 300 this background is even behind that which makes it look like uh, you know this this image is be uh, sorry this color is behind that this container is behind all our image and then I simply made this like scale up so that it covers like the whole screen uh, making it like making it feel like it is uh, like that full size or something I don't know why is it working suddenly but again this is a solution that uh, you know might benefit you in case it does not work so again if you want then you could add this BG like this which would be completely free and this would be the one which would have color and zoom wrapper would have no color I don't know why it's working suddenly let me let me see in this one if it uh, creates that same issue or not so if we select this is the template by the way if I go in here and then add a color okay it is working I don't know why it is it was not working previously when we added when I added a color in here so I'm so confused right now so just try it if uh, try adding color in here and see if it works perfectly if it does not then add this BG container which would be like same size and then uh, we will make this be absolute BG2 and then basically scale it up it would be like much more further than the images in like 3d space but it would be like way too big okay so again uh, get this template it would be five dollars template and yeah that's all thanks for watching every other section has already been made a video of so thanks for watching and goodbye